Mr. Bugadel. It doesn't look Anderson nice, Hall. everything he, he does, but many times he gets, the, he gets the job done. He's got dynamite written all over each shot he throws, hasn't he? So yes, with Rico's sadly. dangerous, he does start slow. He does have a bit of a slower reaction than, than a lot of heavyweights at times. He does kind of fall asleep and get caught with, with big shots. But nevertheless, okay. he'll be up for this because it's the biggest stage. Because if he's just joined us here on yes. K, K1 Rising here in Madrid, I'm Vinny Shulman and with me, three time world Muay Thai champion Kieran Kettle and the legend that is Ernesto Hoos. And tonight's show has been one of the best we've just even watched or even commentated on Kieran. Uh, we've seen the best fighters in the world just go toe to toe. We've seen knockouts, an incredible action. No doubt we're going to see some more now. In the black and yellow shorts, Sergei Lashenko, and in the black with the little bit of white trim, the young Rico Verhoeven. 24 years of age, Sergo, Sergei Lashenko, and in the black shorts, the young man Rico Verhoeven at 23. A bit of a cautious but start, which is unusual yeah. for these yeah, two. Very true. It looked like Sergei uh, lost a lot some weight. He was a lot. Uh, he had a lot more weight around his waist before, which I don't understand from such young guys. By the way. Well, listening to the way you did it, Ernesto, it was always good, and it's clever. Exactly. Catching with the leg, and it's clever to me. You've got to keep in shape, haven't you, all the time? Oh, well, you know, that's very important, I think. Belly in as next to me. There's early heavy exchanges. No doubt we're going to see the round opens up. Some nice kicking from Verhoeven. Those guys are really heavyweight, heavyweights, and they're always looking for a big shot like this. Wicked overhand right from Lashenko. Lashenko's in his corner. Lashenko inside hard leg kick from Verhoeven. There's the combination back from Lashenko, but straight in again for Hoover with kicks. Yeah, I mean, Lashenko, very scrappy as he steps in, going for heavy shots. He's been taking some kicks on Verhoeven as he steps in, but both guys still very dangerous. Concentration etched across these two fights. There's a nice inside leg kick from Verhoeven. Them it big was legs nice. really working. It was nice, but it was also very dangerous. The moment somebody throws a right, you make, if it, the moment you make, they make the kick like that, most of the fighters let their, let their hands drop, and then you can be in trouble. Wise eyes, wise words of the legend that is Ernesto, who's, who sat with us. This has been a great show, but good hand speed from Lashenko. Both guys have definitely come into the fight with a game plan, haven't they? So Lashenko usually steams straight forward, straight in, but he's got a hell of a lot of respect for him over here. But also they look very cautious and they look very uh, respectful to each other for, yeah. for each other's that, uh, when, punching power. When you're, that, when you're that big, you're gonna, aren't you? I mean, you're, you're to the man, you know, it's it's true, but, uh, true, but but sometimes, you know, they fire up right away. Yeah. Even in the heavyweight. I'll tell you what, those kicks are so hard, aren't they? Look at the size of his legs as well, for Hoover to... Exactly. Huge. Combinations going in from Lashenko, but Verhoeven kicking well. He's keeping his chin down as well, Verhoeven. Nice body kick in the right hand from him. Uh, Verhoeven is very composed and he, uh, it looks like he sees everything coming. You know, it's like what you said before, Ernesto. That's the, the first you know, that's a real mature performance, hasn't it, so far? Yeah. With, uh, like you're saying about Rico Verhoeven, it's a mature performance. Yeah. He's not sticking his chin up. He's not taking too many risks. No, he's not. I mean, oh, he's as still, as, as I say, he's still a talent. But now he's he's already acting a little bit more mature. Yeah. Something uh, you should do and me, Kieran, sometimes, I think. No, not mature. No, <laughs> we're not going to. But I tell you something, this has been an, an absolute pleasure doing this show. It's been absolutely amazing. Who's, I'm sorry, we've gone away from the fight a little bit. Who would you say has won the first round? Well, it's very, very close because obviously oh, the man from Ukraine has been very aggressive with his punch combinations, but he's been caught with some kicks as he steps in. So it's very hard. It's it's very, very, very hard. I think it's, 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 it's a draw. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Yeah. Yeah, you will. Yeah, well, I'm not going <laughs> to disagree. <laughs> Even if you were wrong, I'd be well, right. Well, the difference right. cannot be big.
round two of this three three minute round k1 rising action ukraine versus holland starting off with sharp hands behind the jab lashenko listen to the wise words of mike passanet in his corner well lashenko earlier on in the year thought so for daniel geeson got caught with a head kick so maybe that's verhoeven's plan to sort of try and catch him off guard with a heavy kick yeah but you must have the timing to do that that's completely true the timing and and also the will good exchange of kicks going in good kicks from the shank a nice hard kick back from Revu Rehoven they're so fast as well the heavyweights powerful kicks from both guys there they both look still so concentrated good to see big boys on the big stage here in Madrid Exactly what he said. Look low. Yeah, he did. Exactly what he said. He's got to be careful low kicking out of Yeah. Kind of no, switches off a little bit. One, oh, I think one so. second, I mean, yeah? Okay. Fine. I would like to catch my opponents those, that, that, those moments. He take the kick and then make the punch. Ah, okay. It must be heard now. Yeah. Yeah. He's he heard, that, doesn't he? He's looked back at his corner as well. Already. I think he's hurt him already with low kicks. Verhoeven. Well, he did a few nice, he did a few nice counters with the low kicks, and he, they take him now inside and outside. When you get caught, when you get caught with low kicks like that, it just takes away all your power from your punches. Well, Lashenko as well. kept, keeps looking at his corner as well, so he's, he's in some sort of distress. But the thing is, Lashenko always stay powerful, always stay there. He's really hurt that leg. Yeah. The lead leg of Lashenko is hurt badly. Them low kicks of Verhoeven's really sharp. Lashenko puts a lot of weight on his, I don't on understand why he doesn't keep on kicking on the outside of the of the left leg. I don't think he's seen it. Oh. I don't think he's seen it. But his corner must have seen it. Yeah, of course. Verhoeven just sort of switching now. Not too sure yeah. why. He's I, letting this slip away for Hoover, isn't he? Is, he? I think so. I, I don't know why he goes to the to the to the right leg instead of the left. I did say he switches off. He just kind of switches off, and it looks like he's doing that now. Yeah, but he hasn't done it for for at least uh, at least a minute and a half it's already true. in this round. Body kick again. Well, maybe it's part of the game plan. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard Dennis shout low kick then. Yeah. There again. You go again. Now he's starting to listen. Yeah. Something like that, you know, listen to his break. 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 You know, but you know, thing, I think that round. makes the round even, and otherwise, he would have won this round. You know yourself, though, Ernesto, with being yeah. a trainer, and I've been in many, many corners of some great uh -huh. champions. Uh -huh. you, you can't make them do what you see sometimes. No, 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 that's very true. That is very true what you say, and uh, but they must know what's happening, and they must know that uh, uh, they made a good hit and a few good hits, so, you know, they should realise. Was that a natural feeling for you, Kieran? Was that a natural feeling? Is it something that you kind of sense when you're in there that your yeah. opponent's hurt? I mean, you can see the low kick there, but if I'd landed so many low kicks like that early on and I saw that it took its effect, I'd keep going. I wouldn't always just fight on its own. Exactly. I'd disguise it with a combination, you know, which I'd like to see from Verhoeven. Maybe he will in round three. Maybe, well, maybe he will, but um, sometimes he was throwing a high kick and missing completely. Well, the low kick was so much easier, so I don't get it, you know. Well, round three of this three, three-minute round heavyweight action. And I'm so privileged to have Kieran Kettle and Mr. Ernesto, who's Mr. Perfect. With me commentating, it's getting an education in the sport of K1. Say that Rico Verhoeven needs to start working a little bit more. Yeah, you know, still, I... Uh, I don't know what they said in his corner, but I would try to start uh, in, 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 in hitting, hitting on his, hitting uh, Lashenko on his left leg right away. He's definitely damaged, isn't yeah, he, Lashenko? Yeah, even moving round there, he's there still fairly go. hard. Yeah, he's going inside. Oh, okay. So you like to sort of this sort of gap. You like to see Rico just sort of throw the combination yeah. with the low kick at the end. The these, these, are the, these are the moments he has to take. Yes. I mean, especially when Vashenko uh, makes the left, he have, must make the right low kick. That's better. Yep. Vashenko still scoring more. 
Lysenko scored scoring more. Yeah. Hard body kick there. It must have hit the elbow of Lysenko. Inside leg kick again from Verhoeven. Still very close though, you know. Just needs a bit more speed, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, this, this, these kind of low kicks, I don't know why it doesn't give them more. But Frustration on the face of Mike passing as he shouts to Lyshenko to listen to what he's saying. Combination oh, hard shots there. Up. Yeah, they the were. The uppercut was uh, really good. There's the leg kicks that the human should be landing. I mean, Lyshenko's not hardly lifting his legs. No, he's not, he's not defending for one low kick, is he? So, so that means he's hurt. Stop! Blow, the low, blow. Low blow there, yeah. It's one of these things, isn't it, where the, the Rico, I'm sure, will look back and go, oh, what was I thinking, you know? Yeah, that's very true. But, you know, when you're on a big stage like this, sometimes you've only got that one opportunity yeah, in this, though, you know? And you've got to make the most of it. You've got to try and impress the crowd, impress to the worldwide audience watching. We've got to impress yeah. the judges. That's the main thing, isn't it? Well, that's the main thing, exactly. Hard combinations goes in from Lyshenko. Good kicking skills from... Rico, that's the low kick he needs, but back look comes right. Lyshenko again with storming right. combinations. A dying, a dying last minute. Uh, I think Coming this down. Moment, for me, uh, Lyshenko is winning the round and maybe also the fight. Yeah, he's wanting it more as well. Yeah. Certainly is. Yeah. Showing more will, more determination. Got to give credit though to Lashenko, the hard low kicks. Getting kicked off a man like Rico Verhoeven, I mean, it's something else, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, he gets closer, digs away, doesn't he? For three, four, five hundred, with a little uppercut at the end. The dying seconds of this final round, and Lashenko scoring a lot with his punches. End of the third round. Again, the round ends early. Round ended early, but nevertheless, Ernesto, will re do you think, well, you're obviously say, siding with Lyshenko, taking that victory? I think so. I mean, uh, I think he showed more determination, he showed more pressure, and uh, Rico scored, made the, the nicest, the best scores, but I don't think that's enough. Yeah, you're going to see there in the replays, you know, exactly like Ernesto said, he counted with kicks, but it didn't really take the toll in the end. He should have thrown a more low kicks, should have found a combination for the low kick at the end, and he could have finished it. Exactly, and more of, most of the time, Lashenko was starting the action. Yeah, and that is very important for the judges, of course. He, he kept coming forward, plugging away. You can just see there in the replay, look, yeah. off that counter of a, of a body kick. There's three punches there. He just yeah. threw more, didn't he, Lashenko? He, he did. just threw exactly. a little bit more. For me, it's like... Ladies and gentlemen, we have an extra round. Well, so surprising. Very that was surprising, Very wasn't it? That was surprising for me. Well, that's the beauty of K1. You know, there's no draws when there's uh, extra rounds to be played. You don't count the last three rounds. It's all about this round. It's all to play for. Oh, we've got an extra round here. In Madrid. Think obviously, the scoring, the leg kicks of uh, Rico Verhoeven, and maybe because he's blocking the punches of maybe, maybe, maybe going all day, maybe, could have been, yeah, could have been all day. Basically, I think that uh, the, the, the the fighters that attacks more is always in favour, but uh, uh, maybe the judges saw Rico score more more clear kicks and more, more clear maybe punches. Maybe cleaner shots, yeah. Cleaner shots, exactly. Extra round of Nesto. I mean. So all, all in one round, mentally for a fight, it's very hard. Sometimes it is. When you doesn't, when you when you think you won and you have to do an extra round, it can be very frustrating. Especially when you're giving it your all for three rounds. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, Lashenko. Lashenko still, isn't kicking though, is he? He isn't. No. I think he can't because of the damage to his leg. Well, maybe that's also a reason why Rico, why it's so wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking because Lashenko isn't kicking at all. That's possible. Really is the kicker versus the punch. It certainly is, yeah. yeah. It's a mature performance there by, by Rico Verhoeven though, isn't it? It is. It is, a, it, is, it is mature on the other hand. I think he should... He 
he, he still has to grow. I mean, yeah. he still, now for me, he shows he's his, his still the, the talent, but I mean, he's getting the age of a, of a, of a real crack now. Yeah. I, mean, I think he has to show it. Okay. Hard leg kick there again. Like that, you know? yeah. That's very smart. Standing side bow and then kick him on his, on, his right, on his right leg. Those are things I like. See the good Yoshenko combination there from, from Rico Verhoeven. Sergei Lyshenko showing a good chin. He rumbles forward. Oh, what I like about it is that uh, they both don't want to go backwards. They, all, they both look for a fight. But Lyshenko's... But it looks like Lyshenko's going backwards, doesn't it? And then back he comes. It's a tit for tat. This is another difficult round. It's very right. difficult. Exactly. Right. Huge but determination right. from both Yeah, guys. certainly is. But still, it looks like uh, Lyshenko's slowing down a little bit. Missing more now. Hard low kick there from Rico. They're both showing tiredness now. A right hand oh, bounces nice across shot. the chin. The young man from Dennis Crowell's gym. This is where you can see a stoppage on from the car yeah. because it's where people with mistakes get made. Oh, oh, you so see that he's, he's, he's hurt on his legs. He certainly is. And that's what he's feeling, but he's still pushing forward. He's he still pushing forward. He just let them go, doesn't he? You know, that is determination. Yeah. That's all. That's what all fighters should have. So fighters, heart, heart of a lion, both boxers showing real good skills. 30 seconds to go, I'll tell you what. I did really, really well. I'm, not, I'm shutting up now. Uh, I don't know what's going on. So, for a big guy, though, he's exceptionally fit, isn't he, Lushenko? Uh, yeah, I mean, they all are from Mike's, aren't they? They're all fit. I mean, it's a big stage, K1 Rising. It's a big stage. And you see that looks bad on the judges. Showing dominance, showing strength. But back he comes with blistering shots. Rico needs to throw something back. Lushenko has not stopped coming forward. His legs are going to be mightily sore tomorrow. And Esto, no, I'm not going to ask you. Let's be quiet. Yeah, well, Let's blame it's Kieran. It's Kieran, who's won that one? <laughs> I'm going to go with Lyshenko purely because that last sort of 30 seconds to a minute, he just showed a little bit more willing. It was very much like one for one. But just at the end, he just throwed, you know, he throwed more. Yeah, but it's the still same. close, though. Same to me. Either it's another, another, another draw or Lyshenko. OK. Well, you can, I can agree with that, throwing more of the shots. I'd just like to see Rico have a bit more speed and a bit more snap. You know, delivering things quicker, a bit sharper. He could be a force. He's got the size. He's certainly got the age on his side and the talent. Yeah, I mean, he's a strong man as well. We've seen him fight many times with, with knockouts. But, um, you know, he's still got to develop maybe a little bit more. I'm not too sure. Well, you know, the, the, the fights in the... Final 16 have been mesmerizing. Absolutely. Haven't they? And coming up is another dangerous, dangerous fighter, Daniel oh, Guisa. Local, what can local, you say local, about him? And Esto, what do you do? You, uh, what about, what about, what about let, 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 let's cut to the chase. Badra Harry versus Daniel Guisa is the one that everybody wants to see. Me too. Us too. Us three. Me too. Absolutely. Uh, I'd love to see that. That would be an absolute classic. But. Daniel Gita's got to win, and so's Bad Rahari. It's not a foregone conclusion, as Myrtle Grunhart proved. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the winner of this contest. By a two against one, the winner from the blue corner. Well, there you go, let it correct.